What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Brother19 here back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee! Hope everybody's doing alright. Hope everybody is blessed. Hope everybody is doing excellent. But real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you, God cares about you. Cash your cares on Jesus because he loves you. Jesus died so we can live and live life more abundantly. Okay? Hold your head up, draw those tears up and everything. Better days are coming. Your best days are ahead of you, not behind you. Okay? God loves you. God wants to see you win and everything. It ain't no religion. Okay? Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're dealing with, everything, turn over to the Lord and watch him bless and watch him deliver you. Okay? God wants you happy. He wants you happy and everything. But he has to allow trials and tribulations to come to help you grow as a person and everything. Will you be more wiser and be more stronger in order to... Uh, to get it to where he wants you to get at, okay? If you lost a loved one out here, understand someday in a better place, they're in the hands of Jesus, they're in heaven. If you maintain the faith, you maintain obedience one day, you will see them, okay? Keep the drive alive, but keep the dream alive. Never give up on your dream. I don't care who walk away from you, who give up on you, and everything, let them go. Understand some people are temporary, Jesus is permanent, okay? There's no expiration date on Jesus, but there's an expiration date on people, okay? You keep going and everything. Let people judge you. Let people criticize you. Let people assume stuff about you. As long as God and Jesus, excuse me, as long as you and Jesus know who you are and everything, that's all that matters. Let people be, okay? You keep going and you keep pushing and you keep fighting for what's right. And you stand for what is right. I don't care how much backlash you get, you stand for what's right. All right? Understand somewhat. If you're facing with a sickness right now, understand, you guys, Jesus has the last say so. You're healed in his name. You're healed by his stripes. Okay? Never let nobody tell you different. You keep pushing and you keep going. Understand that, you guys. Never give up hope and everything. This ain't no time for you to throw in the towel. This ain't no time for you to give up. Okay? You keep pushing. You can make something. You can make it happen. All right? God got a blessing with your name on it. Hold your head up. Dry those tears up. You ain't just, you ain't done yet. In the battle, you ain't over with yet. God got something better for you playing. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, your first time tuning into my channel, please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you, real with you, raw, unedited, and uncut. Okay? This ain't nothing nobody gave me to tell you. This ain't something I'm acting on paper. This ain't something I wrote down on paper. This is coming straight from my heart to you guys, okay? I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I'm not here to point the finger at you. I'm not here to make fun of you. I have no heaven and hell to put you in, but I am here to challenge you to be a better man or better woman. Once you know better, you should do better, okay? Somebody said some negative to you about my channel. Please tell them to go straight to hell, because I ain't got time for negativity. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass on somewhere. We about real shit on this channel, not bullshit, okay? Now, if you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong channel. If you want to hear real shit, you're on the right channel. All right, you guys. Topic of conversation is today. It is called... You do not have enough evidence to convict me. I repeat, you do not have enough evidence to convict me. You guys, let me explain something to you and listen to me very well. People, again, they always assume stuff about people. People always think that you're this way or that way simply by the way you appear to them. Okay? That's why I stress to you guys and everything. As long as Jesus knows who you are and where you come from, and as long as you understand who you are and where you come from and everything. Don't have an identity crisis. As long as you know who you are and everything, don't worry about what people think you are. Remember, that's their little, little brain in their head. You know who you are. You know where you come from. How many black men and everything have been convicted of a crime and they don't even have all the damn evidence there? And they've been put away for 15, 20, 30 years for something they didn't even do. If you do not have all the full evidence there and everything, you cannot, I don't know how do you bring forth a conviction, okay? I mean, it's America. We understand that's, that's, that comes natural. We're throwing a black man in jail. After all, they get a paycheck for it. But at the same time and everything, there's got to be some evidence. And sometimes people can falsify evidence so I'm just, or make up evidence and everything or try to frame you. So understand something, you guys. If you do not have concrete evidence to convict me of a certain person or a certain type of people and everything, your your whole case is bullshit. It need to be thrown out. 
Understand something, you guys, and everything. Satan is the accuser of the brother. Okay? He goes to God every day and everything. He says to God and everything, you should kill this person. You should throw him in hell. You should throw him in, throw them in hell and everything. He brings forth the evidence. He's the prosecutor. But we have a lawyer defending us and everything, and his name is Jesus. Jesus said, yeah, he may have a, he may have a case, but I die for it all. I already knew what Brandon was going to be before he was in, before he was born. I already knew what they were going to be before they were born. I already knew the mistakes they was going to make. Understand some of you guys. There's nothing we can do down here on this earth that would surprise God and Jesus. God or Jesus. Nothing that we would do that would surprise them. Because they already knew how our life was going to be before we even got here. So understand that and everything. Remember, they're the manufacturer and everything. We're the product. So understand this, you guys, and everything. If you don't have enough evidence, stop convicting people of stuff that they didn't do. If you won't have enough evidence to convict your husband or convict your wife, and everything, they actually cheated on you and everything. I ain't going to about what somebody said. The people lie. I'm talking about if you ain't seen it with your own eyes that they cheated on you and everything. Why are you, why are you, I don't get it. Why are you leaving? Why are you dogging it? Why are you hurting them? If that man has not proven to you, excuse me, I'm sorry. If that man has proven to you, uh, so I'm sorry. If he hasn't, he has not proven to you and everything that uh, he's not an evil man. He's not this, he's not that. Then why are you keep treating him like he is an evil man? If, he, if he's not proven to you that he's conniving, that he cheats and all that and everything, then why do you keep acting like he cheated? I'm just saying, if you don't have the evidence and everything, same thing with the man, with the woman and everything. If you don't sit here and accuse your woman of something, if you didn't see her do it, don't sit here and accuse somebody of something if you didn't witness them doing it. You can't sit there and say somebody this way or that way because of what somebody said. Have people not know people lie? Have evidence and everything. Have evidence. You don't have no evidence, you have no case. They said that in court. You won't have no evidence and everything. What good, you ain't nothing but just blurting out words. So I'm just, I'm just telling you guys, make sure if you're going to bring forth a conviction over somebody, if you're going to say somebody, this is who they are, depending on how they appear to you and everything, you got to have evidence. Again, you can't go by somebody's appearance because looks can be deceiving and they can be misleading. Somebody could be perpetrating themselves to be one way. In reality, they're a whole different person. Understand some of you guys. That's why I show y'all the good me and the bad me, the mad me and the joyful me. I show you all the above. That way you bring forth conviction and everything. Say, yeah, brain is real. He's not sitting there putting a facade on because I ain't got time for that. So I'm just telling you and everything. If you don't have the evidence, you have no case. If you have no proof, you have no case. How you gonna say to me, I'm a gangbanger, I'm a thug, I'm this and everything because I carry a gun? That makes me all those things when I have no criminal record? I know it's hard to believe as a black man, but yeah. I never smoked and never drank, but you, because of how I appear to you, you assume that I do? I don't understand what people think about uh, smoking and drinking is cool anyway. It's not cool. And they think it's a norm for people to smoke or drink or do both. They think it's a norm. It ain't a norm for me. And you may say, well, that's you and everything. You're damn right, it's me. I don't have no time for it. I see how it mess up people's families. I see God, people getting DUIs and stuff and everything. That's the conviction. I have evidence and everything that you drink and drive. You can kill yourself or somebody else. There's evidence of that. There's evidence you keep smoking and everything. Uh, talking, talking about releasing um, your pain or calming your nerves and everything. You're going to eventually end up getting cancer. Or some type of disease and everything. So I'm just telling you. Watch the evidence around you. Watch the evidence around you. Some people, they would think they be, hey, have the evidence in front of them. But they still deny it. Like for example, with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus, there's evidence of Jesus and everything going on Calvary. And there's also evidence that Jesus wasn't white. He was black. There's evidence of that. But people still deny it. Especially America. There's evidence of this stuff. There's evidence that what black people went through. I ain't say house niggas. I said black people went through. There's evidence of it. But people still don't believe. So I'm just telling you and everything. You got to have evidence. You got to have evidence. 
You got to have evidence. A person will show you evidence through their character, not through their words, through their character if they really love you. They show you evidence if they care some about you through their behavior. As we all know, actions speak louder than words. You can sit up here and bullshit me all day long. Talking about you love and care about me and everything, but it's your actions say otherwise. That your evidence, the evidence say otherwise. You tell me and everything that you are a good man or a good woman and everything, but your evidence say you a low down person. You evil minded. So I'm just telling you, your, your words say you looking for a good man or looking for a good woman, but your evidence say you happy alone. Nothing wrong with me. If you want to be alone, ain't nothing wrong with it. That, that's your business. And like I say, I got no problem with nobody being alone. been alone most of my life. I just now found somebody and everything who I can potentially grow with and potentially have a, a, a family with. But you guys, I don't know if y'all knew this and everything. I've been single for almost seven, eight years. And again, it ain't because I couldn't just find somebody. I wanted to find the correct person. Because people, it's hard to find honest and genuine people out here. And the evidence say that. People ain't raised right. People don't know how to act right. People create confusion. People bougie as hell. Stuck up as hell. You can't tell them nothing. There's evidence of it out here. That's why I'm very cautious of who you let, who I let get close to me. I'm very cautious. There's evidence and everything that I have in my past that and everything that I've been burned more times than not by letting people get too close to me. That's why I kind of keep people at a distance. There's evidence of that. So I'm just telling you and everything, whatever your evidence is in your life and everything, I can understand why you make the decisions and stuff you make. But don't knock somebody else from making different decisions than you when they have different experiences than you. Okay? So I'm just saying you guys know and everything. Evidence brings forth a conviction. Not words. Not all some he said, she said bullshit. Evidence. If you see your man, if you treat your man like trash, you dogging him, you mistreating him, you putting him down. Oh, my mama said not to marry your sorry ass and all that and everything. His behavior going to eventually start backing away from you. Because don't nobody want to come home to that bullshit. He's going to start backing away from you. And that's what, sadly, that's what ends, ends up getting cheated. You're going to end up getting cheated on. Because his actions say, I'm, I'm tired of it. The evidence are there. You don't want to be bothered. You don't want me. You feel it was a mistake to get me. And same thing with you, man. Your, your words say you want a good, faithful woman, but your actions say the evidence and everything. You don't know how to be faithful to one woman. Like I said before, quit putting expectation on, on another human being if you have not exceeded them or accomplished them yourself. That's not right and that's not fair. If you ain't never been faithful in none of your relationships and everything, what the hell you want a faithful woman or a faithful man for? If you ain't making a hundred thousand, excuse me, a hundred thousand a year, then what the hell you expect somebody else to do it for? This shit ain't right. This shit ain't right. So let's let you guys know and everything. Have evidence. Have evidence. If there's no evidence, I don't damn what somebody talking about. If there's no evidence there, then you know what you got. This is Brother 19, you guys. I want y'all to be blessed. I just want to drop this off to you. I want y'all to be blessed. Once again, thank you all for all the support. And that's something else before I go. The evidence show me that you guys love what I be spitting on here. The evidence show me that y'all like what I have on here and everything by the subscriber, the uh, subscription, the, uh, the subscribers that y'all that y'all uh, got on, the, that I've had come to the channel and everything, and then the comments and stuff that you guys leave. I appreciate that, y'all. Like I said, I built this channel from the ground up. Nobody would want to help me. Nobody would want to uh, do anything. So I built the channel myself. And I thank y'all very much and everything for the support. But like you said, like I told you, the evidence showed that that you know, that you see that I'm being real and I'm being straightforward with you. Does anybody got time for bullshit? All right. I appreciate you guys. Y'all be blessed. Y'all take care. Remember, without evidence, you cannot convict somebody. I don't care how they look to you. What she looked like this, he looked like that. If you don't have the real hard evidence that they're that way, your whole message is bullshit. Take care.